Okay, really quick, I just wanted to answer a question about um, your jewelry turning your fingers green. I looked online a lot and I couldn't find anything that I was really happy with, so I figured I'd make a video for you myself. Um, so a lot of you have bought new mimosa jewelry for Christmas or you got it as a gift for Christmas, so thank you very much for that. But um, you're, I've been getting some emails about skin turning green, so I wanted to kind of answer that question for you um, and what you can do about it. Um, all of our jewelry is cast in solid bronze and uh, brass and sterling silver and we have done some 14 karat gold as well. But for the, bron for the bronze and the brass, it's um, made mostly out of copper. So if you have a problem with, with uh, your skin turning green when you wear copper, then you're most likely going to have a problem with bronze and brass as well. Um, the reason right now we don't do gold plating is because plating will eventually chip off and the bronze and the brass uh, being cast solid, you can clean it forever. It will always be solid bronze or brass and it won't change. Um, but there is a little maintenance involved and there is the risk of your skin turning green or a dark brown kind of color. Um, it's not dangerous. All it is is a chemical rea reaction um, between uh, your skin and the metal itself, the copper and the metal. Um, it has a lot to do with the acidity in your skin, so usually it happens a lot worse um, in the summer when it's hot. Of course, it's kind of hot in Louisiana right now, um, so it might be happening right now uh, to you here. But um, but the, the main way you want to keep that from happening is to keep it clean. Uh, I wear, wear mine in the bath all the time. I, kinda, I feel like it cleans the jewelry. I know you're not supposed to, but I do it, so I'm guilty of it. But um, I think the main thing is you don't want to wear it when you're working in the yard or like doing exercise or heavy lifting or sweating or anything like that. Anything that you're gonna um, that you're gonna cause that chemical reaction. Um, the best way to keep it from happening, though, is gonna sound like something you heard in junior high, which is basically just to paint the inside with a clear fingernail polish. There's fancier ways to do it. There are other chemicals you can buy online, other things you can buy online. But it all boils down to you just want to create a barrier between your skin and the, and the uh, metal that's actually turning your finger green. Um, there are other options as well. We cast everything in 14 karat gold. So if you're just absolutely in love with the mimosa piece that you want to have um, and wear every day and not worry about it turning your skin green, you can always upgrade to the 14 karat gold. Or you can take it to your local jeweler and they can, um, they can, cat, they can uh, gold plate the pieces that we make. Um, that is something we're potentially going to add to what we offer in the future, but right now we don't. And I do have some local jewelers that I use myself to to um, to uh, plate some of the jewelry that I've I've made, you know, just to see what, what it would do. And I've worn it, and it works pretty well. Um, you know, you have to wear it every day for a long time for it to wear off, but it, it will eventually wear off. But those are your options. I just want you to know there's nothing wrong with your jewelry. There's nothing wrong with you. Um, everything is perfectly normal. It just has everything to do with um, how you react and how, um, how you react to copper. So I hope you enjoy your pieces. I'm so glad that you are now the proud owner of some mimosa jewelry. Happy New Year.